Hey there everybody, it's Little Code Ninja here, and today we're doing some really cool code. Alright, so, before we talked about sensing, let's grab one green flag click, today we're talking about operators. So operators can do stuff like math and pick random numbers. They can also check equalities, do things like is this more or less than a number, or is this equal to the number. They can also see things like and, or, not, which is helpful logic for things like ifs. And they can do a bunch of stuff with text. And this is mathy stuff that I have no clue of how it works. And this is converting stuff, so I guess, I mean, honestly, I don't know trigonometry yet. I hope I learn it soon, but sounds exciting. But anyways, this is basically a bunch of math stuff I don't understand. If you understand it, feel free, but I'm not going to be covering these things today because I don't know it. All right, let's go. So first of all, uh, let's grab a looks and we can say something and now we can go to operators so we can say stuff like hey um what's 50 plus 89 should be pretty easy it's 139 i'm pretty sure god that was terrifying <laughs> right we can say like what's this number oh my god not 5e 77 no mathematical notation there will give us some spit out a random number we also have minus basically minus times division so you can do all that math for yourself <laughs> next we have a pick random so it can pick a random number from 1 to 10 10 4 9 10 9 4 6 why did i give those three numbers like so many times and you can also change the numbers right so like a random number from 0 to 100 should be more if it gives the same three numbers so many times, I am so quitting. <laughs> there we go. 87, 11, 36. Yeah, so it'll give us a bunch of random numbers. So that's pretty handy too. Next we have greater than. So we can be like, is uh, 40 greater than 50? It should say false. It says false, which means no. Is 80, is, is 699 more than 50? I don't think so. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It says true. So you can do the same thing with the less than, and you can say equals, right? So does 657 equals 50? No way. Uh, does 50, does 50 equal 50? You bet, my guys. And then you can say and, right? So if we grab a uh, forever block, and then an if then block, then we can say something like, in sensing, we can say, if the key space is pressed, and, right, and uh, 50 equals 50, then say hello. So, uh, space key is pressed, and 50 equals 50. So we can say hello, right? But we can do something a little bit more complicated. <laughs> so we can say something like, uh, you know, if the space key is pressed and we click with our mouse, then say hello. So I'm clicking, the, I'm holding the space key and I click with my mouse so it says hello. So there we go. That's, uh, that's pretty cool, honestly. All right. We also have or, so we can say if the, skate, if the space key is pressed or the mouse is down, then we want to uh, say hello, which is pretty useful. So now we can either hold down our mouse, right, or we can press the space key. It doesn't matter. There's also not. So, um, like, that means that, let's say, the, the mouse is down and the space key is not pressed. Then, then it will immediately start coding. But if my mouse is down and the space key is pressed, it's not going to do anything, right? So if we stop this and press the green flag, it doesn't do anything until I let go of the space key. So that's some coding for you. Um, I think we can probably remove this. Next, you have a bunch of text, so, uh, oops, I wanna get rid of that forever. So you can do things like join apple and banana, which will make apple banana, apple banana, just like that. Next up, we can get the letter one of apple. Let's see what this does. A. So it's going to say the first letter of apple. We can say, what's the uh, fifth letter of apple? E. 
Just like that, pretty cool. Next we have the length of apple, which is five. It's gonna say how many characters are an apple. Five, there we go. And we can say, does apple contain A? Yes. Is apple, does the apple, actually this is gonna be a classic one. Is there an I in team? Let's see if there is. No, there is not. I don't know what this means, but I hope there's an M in team. <laughs> Yup. All right, let's put that away. And there's this math stuff that I don't understand. I understand some of it. Like, you can get the absolute value of negative uh, 30. So that will give you 30, like that. Or you can do, like, 10 uh, to the power of negative 30. Mm -hmm. uh, I have no clue what that means, but it, it looks cool. <laughs> e to the power of... Five. I don't know all this stuff, but whatever it is, is really cool. So if you understand this math, like, have a good time. Next, in the next video, we're going to talk about something that's really, really important and just as important as control blocks. In fact, they go hand in hand. And this is called variables and lists. Can't wait to see you then. Little Co Ninja, out.